I recently came ac across a question from a Sage 50 user who said, I'd like to add a full year budget column to the standard income budget statement so my board can keep their eyes on the end of year goal. Can you tell me how to add that column using a design tool within reports and forms? Well, this is the report, the financial statement that she's talking about. It has current month columns for both actual and budget, the variance, and then year to date columns for actual and budget and the variance. Um, the problem is that there's no good way to have three time frames a current month, a year to date, and a full year all in the same report. But because Sage 50 Premium and Sage 50 Quantum allow you to have multiple budgets, there's a, an easy way we can work around this. Let me close that report. And we're going to start by going to the Maintain menu and down to Budgets. We're going to create a new budget that has the full annual amount in every column of the report. So if we open up our, our normal budget, we've got it filtered to just show income statement accounts. Click on the total column to select it, then right click and copy. Now I'm going to start a new budget, and the budget name, we'll just call it year budget, and for description, full year budget amounts. And we'll start with a blank budget. Click finish. Now we have a new budget screen. So I'm going to click on the first month and drag over to select all the months and then right click and paste. And you can see it's going to paste the annual amount in each month of each account. So now my total is 12 times what the annual budget really is. We're going to save that, and then we'll go back and design our report. So reports and forms, financial statements, and standard income budget right there. We'll click the design button, and then you can double click the column description button, or you can right click on it and choose properties. And here we're going to go to the first available line, tell it we want another printing column, and we want it to show activity. We'll put in a column title. We can just call this yearly budget or whatever you want to call that. And then um, the column title we need to change to match the alignment of the others, which are all right of column. And then this is the really important step right here. We want to change our qualifier from net, which would give us the actual amounts in there, to budget 2. Not budget 1, but budget 2. You leave the time frame at current because we created a budget where the um, the current period has the year to date amount in every month. So I'm going to click OK right there. Now let's preview our report. And now we have a budget 2 field that wasn't there before. So we're going to come up to budget 1 and we're going to put our normal budget there, and then in budget 2, we're going to put year budget. We'll click OK. And now you can see that we've got all the columns we had before, plus we've got another column out here named yearly budget that has the year-to-date budget in it, um, because that's what's uh, in the current period for that. So that works around not being able to establish a, a third time frame of, uh, of the full year. So you'll probably need to go back in to design and uh, play with your column width a little bit. You can go to each column and you can adjust the width right over there. Um, but that gets you a working um, actual to budget statement with the full yearly budget in a column by itself too. Once you're done, you'll just want to click the Save button and give this a new name. Whatever you want to call it. And click Save. And then that will show up in your list of, of custom financial statements so you won't have to make changes to it every time you want to run that report.